Back in the pre-internet, pre-digital download days of gaming, developers would release quick demonstration discs of their often unfinished products. Final Fantasy VIII was one such game, and as was common with a lot of PS1 titles, there were multiple demo discs available before its release in 1999. Examples of these demos include the one packaged with the Japanese and North American release of Brave Fencer Musashi on October 31st, 1998, and a more up-to-date European demo packaged with an issue of the official PlayStation magazine. There are several differences between both of these demos and the completed game, but the most obvious is the fact that Renel Hartley is present on the seed exam in Dollet, and the team will wear their normal in-game outfits. Interestingly, still images of this demo still exist within the European Piggy Bank Strategy Guide that released in 1999. The North American demo for the game received an M rating, making it the first Square title to have this. There was also a demo package with the platinum version of Final Fantasy VII, which features FMV footage of the Dollet mission and famous ballroom scene. The official UK PlayStation magazine also featured an early review of Final Fantasy VIII in its April 1999 issue. The Japanese version of the game was reviewed in a first impression style. What's interesting about this article, which I personally read about a hundred times as a child, is that it's clearly written from a massive Final Fantasy VII fan's perspective. There are many comparisons between Squall and Cloud, Zell and Barret, and Sifa and Sephiroth. The article author even suggests that Quistis might potentially be a character to die in a tragic way. How interesting would that have been?